Thank you, thank you. I, I'm, I'm Congressman Ed Royce. I chair the Foreign Affairs Committee. My chief of staff, Amy Porter, has done some relief work in Cambodia. She told me about what she's seen with her own eyes in Cambodia. And let me say these words of encouragement to all of you. Hun Sen has ruled that country now for three decades. Stolen elections. The most least recent election in which there were 55 seats for the Cambodian National Rescue Party. You and I know there were far more seats than that. You and I know that 10% of the voters who were voting against the government in power had their names struck in the rolls. And you saw the voter intimidation, the attempt to create fear, the attempt to prevent people from voting as well. And many of you know that they stuffed the ballot boxes. It was a fraudulent election. And when the people took to Freedom Park, took to protesting, what happened? They were attacked with water cannons. They were shot. Many were injured. One was killed. Tear gas. Well, that shows us, shows us the face of the political party of Hun Sen and shows us the face of those who are standing in the way of the rights of Cambodians to free elections, to freedom, and to prosperity. And we are tired of the land grabbing. We are tired of the illegality. We are upset with the fact that the rule of law is not utilized in Cambodia. And that is why people are out here today to say enough, enough to Hun Sen. And so I am here to share with you my support for change in the future. And I will end with this. The Cambodian people are calling for change. They deserve to have their voices heard. Turn. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much, Congressman. Thanks a lot, uh, uh, Congressman Eddie Royce, and uh, for your uh, showing.